Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving. But for today, we are going to be testing out a new foundation. You guys, I walk into Walgreens and I was just looking around at all the uh, the little holiday gift sets and they put this little guy in there with, I think they have a bronzer and a highlight maybe, but this is what caught my eye the most. It is a new Photo Ready Candid Glow Foundation. It is a moisture glow anti-pollution foundation and it is like a sister of the candid the regular candid natural finish foundation so this one has more of that like it says a natural finish it's very like satiny and then this one is more glowy and you guys i was like i have to pick this up and i have to do like first impressions wear test on this so you guys can find out if it's great or if it's not so great. <laughs> now, when I looked it up, I did see that it's at Walgreens and CVS. I'm not sure if Walmart has it just yet, but I went to, after I saw it at Walgreens, they actually didn't have my shade. They had about, I think four or five shades and they were really light. So once I saw they had it at CVS, I said, well, I'm gonna go try my CVS and see if they have other foundation shades, which they did. They had way more, way more shades. But they didn't have that bronzer and highlight. But like I said, I wasn't worried about that. This was what I wanted my hands on. So now let's go ahead and get started and test this out. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It looks exactly like the other one. Let me grab it. So I can this is what the other one looks like. The, the regular Candid foundation. And I actually have this one in Tawny. And this shade is a little too light for me. I feel like when I put it on, it looks just really pale and almost like gray looking, but I can make it work. But I feel like in photos, it looks a little gray looking. So I picked up a darker shade in this one and it is the shade Natural Tan. And, and so, yeah, this is what it looks like. And it says light buildable coverage foundation. So it sounds like it's going to be more on the sheer side, light instead of medium. Yeah. See the old candid, the old, it's not that old, <laughs> but the first candid, it's a medium buildable coverage. So I think for this one, they're going for more of that, you know, BB type cream light coverage, your skin, but better. Okay. So to prime my face, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Actually, I think it's now called like just the Timeless Smoothing Primer, but it's the same exact thing. And this is my favorite primer for my T-zone and just to fill in these larger pores that I have right here on the inside of my nose and a little bit on the forehead. I'm going to actually go in with my Cover Effects Gripping Primer. I really like this primer. It's really good. Um... It definitely has more of that firming product in it. I feel like this one, you know, you have to work in pretty good and it's very tacky, just like the Milk Hydro Grit. So I like to let that sit just for a little bit. I hope this lighting is okay. I feel like it's kind of bright on one side and not the other. Give me one second. I sat down and now I'm gonna go in with the foundation. On one side, I'm gonna go in with the sponge and then the other side, I'm gonna go in with my brush. I wanna see which one will get more coverage, even though it's supposed to be light, but I do wanna see. Okay, so let's go in with, let's go in with uh, one pump. Okay, that is one pump right there. Very little comes out in one pump. So let's go ahead and set this up. Maybe I'll zoom you guys in a little bit more. Alright. So yes, very, very light coverage. Super 
super light coverage with the sponge as you can see very glowy just like it says <laughs> glow um but it looks very nice it doesn't look cakey or anything it looks like it looks like skin let's go in with the brush on the other side i'm gonna go in with a flat top brush and this is one pump and stipple it on the shade is pretty nice um it does look a little bit too warm i like to go for if a foundation says warm and it has like too much warmth in it i like to go more neutral but it's working and i think it looks the same with a brush and a sponge so you could use either or I'm only gonna use about half a pump for my forehead oh my god <laughs> that would have been bad because I really don't need a whole lot of coverage on my forehead So yeah, I think it looks just about the same on both sides. Very light coverage. It's giving me, you know, that evened out skin and not covering up too much. I can still see like I have a little mole right here. You can see that I have two right here that I can still see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it did not cover it at all. And I have like a little mark right here too. I think it looks really, really nice and it doesn't look heavy at all. At all. It, I'm telling you, it looks like my skin, but better. <laughs> so we're gonna try to build it up now with the sponge on this. No, I'm sorry. We're gonna build it up with the brush on this side because we did do that. Place it up here. I'm actually gonna drag this down just because I had picked a shade for when I was more self tanned, and now my self tanner has started to come off. So. We're just going to make this work. So it's not bad. The original Candid is actually really long wearing. I actually enjoyed this a lot. Um, so I'm really excited for this one because you're getting more of a glowy, especially for dry skin. You might like this one more than you'll like this one. Cause it's not tight at all it's really really nice feeling on the skin and even after that second layer it doesn't feel heavy and i had two layers on this side too it's not heavy at all really nice so now i'm going to grab my sponge and kind of just go over everything to make sure it is blended out nicely I think this looks really really good now that it's like set down it's not quite as glowy as when you first put it on but it still looks really really nice all right if you hear snoring that's my dog <laughs> she's sleeping so now we're gonna go in with concealer and i'm actually gonna go in with my covergirl true blend concealer and I have this one in all the natural. And I'm gonna add concealer like I normally would. And since this is a more full coverage concealer, we will get a little more coverage around the cheek area, which I do prefer just because I want to cover a little more around my cheek area. I have more pores right there. And the concealer blend so nicely on top. I think that looks really, really good. Wow. I really like this. And that concealer blended out so seamless, so easy, 
Wow, I didn't skip. Okay, so I am going to go off camera now and I'm going to do my brows and some other things, probably mascara and stuff, and then we'll come back and we'll finish the face off with bronzer, blush, all that good stuff together. Okay, so I did my brows, I did my eyeshadow, and I used the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. And for brows, I used the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil in soft brown. Okay, so now we'll do bronzer and everything together. But I did want to mention that I noticed like right here on my mouth, it looked a little cakey. Like it was sitting really weird right around here. And I'm not sure if that was because of the concealer and that. And then when I added powder, I'm not sure. But it doesn't look that bad. I just did want to point that out before we moved on. Now. Okay, so for bronzer, we're going to go in with the uh, Anastasia Rich Amber Bronzer. And I'm just going to use a stippling brush and kind of just bronze all over. And to set my face, I did use the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Because I have to set my foundation because it'll slip and slide because I do have combination skin. So I do always set underneath my eyes and then a little bit around this on my cheek area. So the bronzer and blush all go on seamlessly. So bronzer is going on good. Nothing weird or anything. I think it looks nice. This spot right here kind of along really well. I might have too much product on the brush. Okay, so I'm noticing with the bronzer on this cheek, it's very like splotchy in this one spot. I'm not sure if I didn't set it very well and it's not clinging on to there very well for some reason. But I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to go in with the Patrick Ta blush in She's Seductive. I have used this one time and I really like this blush. It is like so easy to use because it's so buildable that when you first go in, you're not getting a whole bunch of product on your brush and it's too overwhelming. This is a perfect blush for anybody to use because you seriously cannot mess up with this blush. I feel like it's going on right there too, which is so weird. I'm going to do what I always do, and I'm going to spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Sometimes I use my LA Girl. Any of these type of fixing setting sprays will work. I just think it melts everything in and makes it look a little bit more not as powdery and just nice. And then I kind of just let and wait that sit for just a little bit and then we'll go in with highlighter. I'm going to kind of just pat just a little bit to push some of that product in. Okay, now for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. I have also used this one time and you guys, this highlighter is beautiful. Do you guys see that? Whew, stunning. Now I see why everybody is raving about this highlighter. Because it's just that good. Gosh, I love it. I just literally drenched myself in this highlight. I'm going to add a little bit on my brow bone. I like to use sometimes a fluffy brush. 
but it's not so precise, so I'm just applying the product very Kind of just disperses it very evenly and not so in one spot. If that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, so bronzer went on good, highlight went on great. Bronzer, ugh, it's iffy. I feel like in both of these spots right here at my cheek, it was it's splotchy like it feels like the bronzer didn't grow onto that spot and I'm not sure if it's because I didn't set very good with my powder um but and I didn't really like press the bronzer I kind of swirled it so I might have picked up that foundation I think it looks good I'm going to add a lip color and with the KKW lip liner in nude one and I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Moonchild lip gloss I'm just gonna go with a easy glossy lip today. As you can tell, I went for a very simple look. Nothing too extravagant. But this combo, I really been loving this combo. So we are going to do check-ins. So I am going to check in with you guys in a few hours and show you guys how this foundation is wearing. So far, I think it looks very pretty. It looks like my skin, but better. And when it layered, it didn't feel heavy. I literally like hardly can feel it on my face. I think it looks just natural and beautiful, a perfect everyday foundation. And yeah, I think it's not like when I first applied it, it's glowy, but not too glowy. And once you let it sit, it kind of, you know, the glow isn't so intense. So, so far it looks real nice. We're going to see how it wears. So I will check in with you guys in just a little while. Okay guys, so I have been wearing this for about three hours now. And I think it still looks really, really beautiful. Um, it looks like skin. Hi! <laughs> Hi. Uh, I think it literally looks like skin. I totally forgot I even had it on because it's so lightweight. It, I scratched my nose and was like, oh crap, I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> so that tells you just how lightweight it is. And I think my whole face looks really good. I'm not getting oily Hi. at all. <laughs> Hi. And, but my nose around here is getting cakey a little bit. But everywhere else, I think it still looks really nice and natural. So we will check in again in a few more hours. Okay guys, so we have reached the end of the night and I have been wearing this for about eight hours now. And close up, it is really like creasy right here. In my nose, it's around here, it's really cakey. I'm not sure if you can get it on camera, but it is. And around my mouth right here also, it has like caked up exactly where I said I had the issue earlier. And it's like around here, it's almost like it has worn off. Um, but yeah, I don't think it wears like, like it wears off badly. Like, you know, some foundations just look really terrible by the end of the day. I don't think this looks terrible. I can just tell that it's starting to come off. And I have been wearing it for eight hours, so I don't think this foundation is a very long wearing foundation. I actually do really like the way it looks. By the fifth hour was when I was like, okay, this is starting to look a little eh. I think the original Candid foundation is more long wearing, but I actually like this formula better. I think it looks prettier on the skin than the other one. It just is more glowy, natural looking even, and I think it looks really pretty. If I was to rate it, I'd probably give it about a... C plus, B minus, in between there, just because it's not very long wearing, but I really like the way it applied and looked right after I finished my makeup. So this is a foundation I would wear only for a few hours and then take it off. I wouldn't be wearing this all day long, super long day, but I really do like it. And I think you guys should try it out and see maybe if you didn't like the regular Candid, you actually might like this one instead. I think this is going to be great for dry skin people, you guys are going to love this if the other one did not work for you.
or combination, you know, just use your oil control primers in your T-zone just so you know you don't get super oily. And then I love the packaging. I love the pump. Super simple, nice squeezy, not glass or anything. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.